Hey guys, Stuart here uh, in the workshop uh, over from uh, head office. Very pleased to be here, here with Jose behind the camera. Hi. Hello. Uh, Matt's off uh, busy doing uh, some other stuff. But uh, let's start with the introduction to this video. It's going to be a small series and it's two parts and it will be about the SK450 dead cat in the new and old configuration. This is it here. First of all, this is my first quad. Uh, I'm certainly no expert on multi-rotors, but uh, I wanted to get into the uh, that side of the hobby, and this was my first frame with which I did. It's very clean, very basic, and for me, as an introduction to multi-rotors, it's perfect. Um, now, there is the new configuration, and when I say new configuration, I'm actually referring to this here. If you remember, uh, probably about a few weeks ago now, I spoke about the new integrated board for the uh, dead cat configuration of the SK450. Here it is. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my uh, original setup that you see here, uh, talk about the pros and cons of this against the new one. And then in the second video, uh, I'll do a build of this and we'll get to see the true advantages of this type of board over the traditional board that you see here. That's not to detract from this because it's actually an amazing frame and uh, if you get one or if you already have one, uh, you'll know how good it is uh, and then if you do get it, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say it is a very good frame. Okay, so the original Dead Cat. Well, this is a evolution of the uh, SK450. This is it in its standard X form. This is how it comes in the box. Um, but I wanted the Dead Cat because I wanted to add a camera to the front. This is the GoPro 3 that we use. Uh, and I wanted the propellers to be out of the field of view of the camera. And with this Dead Cat configuration, as you can see, it's perfect for that because these two front arms are angled back. And on the uh, medium field of view, and I think even the wide field of view with this camera, you're not seeing the tips of the props, which is great. Now the, the quad itself, it's like I said, it's clean, which is what I like, but it's particularly clean because I'm really anal when it comes to wires and wiring volumes. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the standard KK2 mounted on the top. I've got my uh, orange six channel receiver, uh, rather neatly uh, installed here, I must say. Uh, you'll also notice these strips along the uh, along the arms. These are my LEDs. We sell these, and uh, at the end of this video, uh, under the description, by the way, you'll find a, uh, a list of all the components used for this particular build. Uh, now, I've got lights on the front and on the back because I like to fly this at night, and it, these are great orientation aids. Even during the day, they are because unlike an airplane where you've got a definitive front and back and left and right of the frame. Uh, of the aircraft, something like this, it's quite hard to get your bearings and orientation. So visual aids such as these LEDs actually really, really help. Okay, so if I turn it over here, I'm running our Blue Series 20 amp speed controllers, four of those there, of course, and I've got the MTN uh, 28 series motors. These are the uh, 1200 kV motors. Uh, these are running 8x4 props. You can run bigger props, but for me, uh, this was the perfect combination of power and speed and lift and everything else. Also, you'll see uh, hot glued on the uh, front and rear here. I like to call this one my afterburner because it's orange, it's at the back, and I've got a white spotlight at the, uh, at the front here. Again, great for orientation. Now, what I did mention is wiring looms, and if I turn it over and remove the 2200 Turnergy pack that I use on this frame, I think, can you see this over there? You got that there? This is the quad power distribution board that we sell. Um, essentially that means that I don't have to solder up a, a loom to connect all the uh, positive and negatives from the speed controllers. They just connect directly to this board, which I think you can probably just see there. Again, it makes it that much neater. Um, not sure if it saves any weight at this point, but certainly uh, much neater and much tidier, which is exactly what I want. So a lot of affection associated with this frame for me. If you remember, we took it on the road with us to uh, RCX and Jonal in the summer, uh, used it to get some in-flight footage, uh, we used it for glider towing and all kind of shenanigans. Um, so yes, a great personal link for me and it was my first quad and it is a very good quad for it. Um, one of the reasons I really like it, I said it's simplicity, it goes together very well. This is the only tool I use to assemble this. If you notice, the frame uses identical bolts throughout to assemble, so it's very easy and you just really need this one tool. Now one of the pros and cons of this frame, it is quite heavy. Uh, that helps in the wind, it makes it uh, penetrate a little better, but it does mean that my motors are working overtime and so is my power system. It's slightly uh, more heavy because I think of all these additional lights and uh, wires and whatnot. That's where the advantage of the uh, integrated board 
I think will really come into play. So in the next video when I build that one, uh, I'm actually going to weigh the two and see what the weight saving is. I'm thinking it will be uh, quite a saving because the major issue of this for me is flight times. Uh, in its clean setup here, I probably get around eight minutes if I fit the GoPro camera alone without the FPV equipment. Uh, I probably get about seven minutes or so if I'm flying line of sight to uh, record on this. If I fit the addition of the FPV equipment too, my flight times go down to about five minutes. For me, that's not great, but as a camera platform, it's pretty rock solid. I just really need to work on those flight times. So with the extra weight savings for those, uh, with the integrated board, I think we'll have some success there. As a frame, it's fantastic. It's very strong and I really, really like this. So let's go fly it and I'll see you for the next video where we'll talk uh, more about the new frame and we'll compare the two and see how much weight we can save. This is a montage. You gotta have a montage. I'm gonna insert this into here. This goes up here. Ready? Let's fly. Then when you land it, just walk through it and say something to me like bye. That's where the goat's on it. It's cool coming out, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's done it before. I mean, if you want to, but it's, I don't think it's necessary. First? Eh. Eh. Alright, wait until you see the next one, then you'll be impressed. <laughs>